<laughs> hey everybody! Oh my eyes just She's so being nosy. Hey everybody! Um, oh we got a guest. It's Panera Friday. Say hi! It's Panera Friday. Okay, so we got Bree in the back with us. Okay, and um, we're about to talk about you know something. What are we about to talk about again? What do we say? Living. What is it? What do we say? Living your own life. Living your own life. There we go. Living your own life. Um. But before we do that, we're going to sing a song, and uh, it's called, what's it called, So Excited? I guess. Does it take six? six? Rescue. Rescue? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was take six. But well, I, I guess they, they sing it too. Do they? I I'm, yeah. So, yeah. So we're going to do that. Uh, hold on. Get this thing out the way. Uh, they, uh oh. Okay. Good. What's you the know. note? So, so. Yeah. You can yeah. count. Count it out. Yeah. Three, mm-hmm. four? Yeah. Or five, six, seven, eight. So excited, I've been saved by the love of God. I'm reunited. Where would I go? Where would I go? I'm so excited, I've been saved by the love of God. I'm reunited. Where would I go? Why would I go? No one, no one could tear me away from the love of God. I'm so excited. Where would I go? I like that actually. Yeah, yeah that was kind of cool. That was my pick. Yeah, her pick. She picked that <laughs> one. Um, so, yeah, we're going to talk about living your own life. And um, this is not only for younger people, but it can be applied to like anyone. Um, and I guess the place that we're coming from is um, make sure that the goals that you have in life are for yourself and not for anybody else. Not for your mom. Not for your dad, not for your, not for your sister, your brother, anybody, your friend, but for yourself. Um, I was gonna take it over because I feel like I'm about to say so though. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, looking at this objectively. <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep um, it general. Yeah, general speaking, generally speaking. Sorry, um, it's important to um, for your motivation to come from you know inside yourself for what you plan to do with your life. Of course, you want to um, heed God's will, but then at the same time. If you know that you are heeding God's will, then you need to just go ahead and just go for it. Because a lot of times what people want doesn't fall in line exactly. You know, it might not be the same exact thing that you know that you're supposed to do. So if you know that you're supposed to do it in your heart and, you know, you've prayed about it, then, you know, you need to just go ahead and just go for it and reach your dreams that you have set out and that you have planned. A lot of times... We don't even realize it that every sometimes every decision that we make is to please others, um, from the clothes that we wear, from how we wear our hair, from um, where we choose to live or what we choose to do or how we choose to act. A lot of it has to do with how people perceive us, and we can get lost in that, and in turn become very unhappy because we're not reaching self actualization. We're not. Um, pleasing ourselves making her happy we're not reaching our full potential and therefore stifling ourselves and um a lot of people are unhappy successful people may be happy but they haven't reached their full potential and that doesn't mean monetarily it doesn't mean anything like that um but your full potential is living in the purpose that god has for you period so you could be a doctor and be successful but you're not reaching your full potential unless you're in what god has for you and no one can tell you that no one can tell you no one can tell you your purpose. That has to be something that you discover on your own on the you know through the revelation of God. And that's what I realized. You know, I always like I felt like I respected older people and I still do. I respected um, people who were spiritual figures in my life, but as I've gotten older, I really have to trust the God in me, you know, <laughs> what God is telling me above what other people are saying. You know what I'm you know what I mean? Um oh. I guess one thing that I would add is just don't be afraid to go out your comfort zone because a lot of times when you're about to go out of your comfort zone, you have naysayers, mm-hmm. you have peanut galleries, peanut who, gallery. all, who all have things to say about oh, oh, your plans and yes. where you're going and you got you can't let that 
things get to you because those people they're afraid to get out of their comfort zone right they're afraid to do go out on a limb and take a risk and take a chance mm -hmm. but um, sometimes you just really just have to go for it and see where things go because if you always base off your life off of the the naysayers and the peanut gallery you never get anywhere in life because you're always listening to them and you're gonna just stay comfortable right where they are and you know that may be fine you know for them and that may be fine for you but that's not fine for me come on so, <laughs> come on somebody okay so um that I think that pretty much wraps it up uh, guys um so that's that's the discussion for today let us know if you have a peanut gallery um, if maybe you haven't been, li been living for yourself and um, and I know the, the purpose the whole purpose talk is is really really big because a lot of people don't know what their purpose is um, so yeah if you have any advice on how to find your purpose or how to discover your purpose leave that down below that may be something that we talk about later but yeah thanks for tuning in guys this episode of Panera Friday can you say bye say bye bye can you say bye or you're just gonna wave say bye bye yeah, she's just going to wait. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.